research is a labor of love but let's face it it can get overwhelming endless searching messy citations and disorganized projects that's the reality for most of us but what if i've told you there's a tool that simplifies it all there comes site ai your ultimate research assistant hi you guys this is anmol maimon an ai product analyst at allaboutai.com and i'm there to conduct site ai review to find out if it actually is researching from 187 million academic articles or not let's dive in let's just begin with first things first and talk about the pricing site ai offers flexible plans tailored to different needs whether you are an individual researcher a university or part of a corporate team the pricing structure ensures you're only paying for what you actually need and trust me the value actually does outweigh the cost however before you purchase the tool there's a 7 day free trial which i'm using right now and i think that's amazing because on the free trial it's not just that i'm limited to certain things but the entire tool is available for me so that's great now this is what the interface looks like i'm just going to go on home again and i'll show you what are the main features does it have it has ai assistant search dashboard and reference check i'll explore each one of them individually we're just going to be starting with ai assistant like it's just that imagine having a personal assistant that answer all your research questions find reliable sources and summarizes them for you all in minutes this is what this research assistant does let me show you how i'm going to write what is the impact of renewable energy on global carbon emission let's see what it has to say for us you can also choose uh, the sources also you can go ahead and apply the citation style publication types whatever you know is your requirement i don't have any such requirement right now but you can go ahead and choose you can choose the length uh, and there's like publication concern there's general if you want to add any and all of those uh, i don't really have any specific details but you can go ahead and do so i'll just i'm just going to be going with the simple chat here let's go ahead there you go all right so we have the answers and not just answers we have citations that we can trust it's like having google scholars on steroids i mean minus the irrelevant information and all of that this is great i get all the citations i can see where the article is from i can add this to my dashboard let me just add it to my dashboard uh, add to a new dashboard or you can just edit a current one i have a one made on the 19th i'm just gonna add it to the existing dashboard this is how simple it is next up i think i'll show you guys the search feature what you have to do here is literally just search any piece of information that you want to cite and instead of you know roaming around hundreds and thousands of research papers all you have to do is just put the line here and it's going to search it for you there's like a specific line about academic papers that i want to research so let's go ahead and do that give me the give me the sources for this line now what this is going to do is source out all the papers which have this line mentioned in them i mean have you seen anything crazier than this there is an option that you can choose from the authors there is years that you want to go from like let's say i want to go from 2020 to to 2024 till date okay and then there's like this mu- multiple sections that you want to go for discussions results or methods whatever there's the types the citation uh, there's journal type that you want to go for or the journals that you want to opt for affiliations pub type topics editorial notice and so much more like anything that you want to make your research and ease is available here this means no more time wasted scrolling through irrelevant papers since it gets straight to the point saving you hours of manual digging i'm going to move ahead with the dashboard feature now I, i'll come to the reference check thing it's my favorite thing to be honest but i'll just show you the dashboard like where is everything saving so this is my dashboard what you can do is you can create multiple dashboards right you're going to come up here you're going to fill in the details of why do you want these and like 
all the do's and don'ts and all of that it's going to create a dashboard for you and for the next time what you can do is you can just list all your research papers in one place you know if you're working on one specific topic create a dashboard and everything would be aligned there all you have to do is just click there next thing is the reference check okay this is my favorite feature you ask me why all you have to do is simply upload your document and site scans it to ensure all your citations are accurate and credible no more worrying about missed references formatting mistakes is handled in all seconds let me show you how all right so i'm just going to come up here give it a pdf that i'm going to be needing the references for let's put it on reference check now let's see click here to see or view it your reference check okay let's see okay it says this paper does not have any references so most probably the paper would not have any of the citations done but if you have a research paper where you need to get the citations done this feature is going to do that for you so what i love about site is how intuitive and efficient it is and it's not just another research tool it's a productivity powerhouse the smart citation bring a new level of transparency to academic research showing you the content and quality of every citation so nothing no reference can go without proper citation which is great while no tool is perfect to be honest a site comes pretty pretty close because when i was a student research was the pain i was dealing with ask me about it oh my god it was horrible i wish i had a tool like site that time that could get done half or more than half of my work all i had to do was just you know align things and give it to my professor but apparently it didn't happen so the reason why i'm giving it a 4 out of 5 is because a it's the ease and convenient b it's powerful and it's genuinely making your research work easier it's not just claiming so if we come back to the question is side actually researching from 187 million academic articles with the results i've gotten today i think yes it is well this was my take on side ai if there is something that you think i've missed or something that i should cover more just let me know in the comments below and also go ahead and try this tool yourself because again there's a 7 day free trial so you don't have to worry about anything at all if you like it you pay for it if you don't you're going to be out i'll take your leave now but don't forget to like and share this video with the students that you know who need really really good help with research and till then keep exploring